All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about you? I'm shy. The bonus of the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace of salutations to the hopefully elect. Come at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of your heart. me, I was shy. I want to start at the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 2. It says, For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, which you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You are the biblical Israelites, by the way. But what you need to understand is a part of this crafty council that E have set up, which E is another, uh, you know, nickname we have given to Edomites, Esau, the so-called white man, according to the Bible. What you need to understand is they have set up a crafty council against us. And a part of the crafty council that they have set up is they have hid their identity Right. They have hid their identity and they have took on all these different other identities to hide the fact that their true identity, according to the Bible, are the Edomites. Now, you know, according to the Bible, it speaks about the Edomites, these particular people being what? Being a people whom the Lord has an indignation for and a people whom the Lord hates. Let's go to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi, I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? And this is the mindset that our people have today, right? Through all the all the atrocities, the things that they're going through, their mind is saying, if you know, if we are the people of God, if we're his chosen people, why are we going through the things that we are going today, right? Why are we going through this? If we're his chosen people, if he loved us. Well, the understanding of that is we were disobedient to his word, right? We were disobedient to his word. We rebelled against his word. We started, you know, diving into all these different idols. Okay. Making sacrifices to all these different false deities. So, doing all these particular things that the Lord did not delight in. He said, well, since you want to disobey my word, look, I'm going to jack you up. And this is what you see happening right now amongst the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Man, woman, and child. Continuing on. Verse 2, it says, I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob. And the two main people of the Bible that you should un want to understand about. These, uh, these two brothers and two nations of people have came out of these two twin brothers. Esau, which is the eldest being the so-called white man, the progenitor of the so-called white people today, and Jacob, who is the progenitor of the 12 tribes, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, uh, Negro and Indian descent today. So the Lord's letting us know that he loves us. We are his chosen people. Verse three, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places, right? And this is what you see, the uh, the built, uh, how E has built himself up, even when he was, uh, you know, uh, you know, put away, not put away, but even as he was uh, took down for the thousand year period, which you can go around and deal with the time of the Byzantine Empire. Well, as the scripture says, that deadly wound was healed. And you see where we're at today. All right. The rebirth. And, it, and that's how he came back into power. Continuing on. Verse 4. Whereas Edom said, if we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them. Remember, context, we're talking about the Edom, the Edomites. It's a people. They shall build and I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people and the what and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. 
So now China, so China, now tying it all back in, you can see why they have hid their identity, that they have ran from their identity of being who? The Edomites, according to the Bible. And they hid themselves under false titles. You see? They call themselves Russians, and they call themselves Australians, Americans, uh, Turkish, Sweden. You know? They have themselves under these false identities identities but truly they are the Edomites of the Bible okay so you can see why they have done this and this is part of their crafty council so not only the Heavenly Father the God of the Bible whose true name is Yahweh not only does he hate this people but this is a people against whom the Lord have indignation forever and they are called the border of wickedness you know now Get this real fast. Book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11, it says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. So they have the mindset that they're, they're going to rule and that they're going to continue to rule forever. Right? That they're never going to be took down and on top of that they do what they call their lands after their own name so when they conquer a land what do they do they name that land after themselves you know or if they so-called discover a land so-called they name it after themselves so hence we have a uh, amerigo vespucci which that's what Amer who america is named after Amerigo Vespucci, which he is an Italian explorer, explorer, right? You see, he's a what? He's an Italian explorer, but nationality-wise, biblically, he's a what? He's an Edomite, and he have hid himself under a banner of being Italian. You have uh, another one, uh, Edomite goes by the name of uh, Leo Scipio Africanus, which he was a Roman general, right? But according to the Bible, he's an Edomite. But you can see how they call their lands after their own names, after they what have you know done their conquering. But they are the Edomites. But just painting a picture and showing you how, you know, what they have done through their credit council of naming, uh, you know, placing uh, other names upon themselves when truly they have the Edomites that the Bible is speaking of. Now, this is credit council against our people because our people actually don't know. When you read in the Bible, when you're dealing with, let's say, Jacob and Esau, for instance, you know, not only do our people don't know who Jacob is, but they don't even know who Esau is. So when you go to Psalms 83 and it talks about the enemies. It talks about the uh, the enemies, the enemies of the Israelites, our enemies. Um. And let's just read, I'll read a little bit down. Psalms to the 83 verse. Uh, or I take to the point, verse 6 says, The tabernacles of Edom. So when you get here, right? Because when you jump to verse 2, I'll read it again. It says, For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So not only are these people your enemies, but they hate thee. And the first person, that, right? It starts with is who? The tabernacles of Edom. When people see Edom, they don't understand of who is that speaking of. But when you go into the history, you go into prophecy, you get the, when, when the true understanding is dealing with you or when the Holy Spirit is dealing with you and you get the true understanding, you will know that this is talking about Esau, Edom, who is the so-called white man today. And then you will know like, oh, OK, I see the way how the system is and how he systematically set up this this uh, this uh, way of life that he has control over right now, because the scripture says in the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked to cover the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So as everything is in um, the powers and the might of his hand, you know, roughly paraphrasing as it said in the book of Micah 2 verse 1, that he controls everything and he systematically, well, oppresses and destroys and destroys the so-called uh, uh, Negro, Latino, Native American man, woman and child. Okay. Spiritually and physically, spiritually, with his with his enchantments, his witchcraft, his different uh, uh, religions that he have set up. Physically, you know, uh, you know his uh, his food, you know his, his water systems, 
you know, etc. Okay, so he's trying to destroy us first and foremost from the inside out. You know, all always around the board. But you would understand that if you understood that he is who the Bible is speaking of, Esau Edom, that he's the devil and that he is not this uh, identity or title that he put himself as white. You know, he's he's white because that's what they did. That's another game they play. He said he's white, meaning he's he's peaceful and he's he's loving and he's he's pure. No, no, no. The term black really needs to go on him because he's void of light. He's wicked. He's dark. You see, but it's a play on words because he has put that on who? You so-called Negroes. We're okay. So verse three says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, right? The hidden ones are the Israelites. They have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance." For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And then it goes down and lists the nations whom have joined together and and who are against the Hebrew Israelites, right? And this is what they have done. They said, have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They know we were the chosen people of the Lord. Okay, so they have set up this system. And uh, the public full system is another crafty council that they have to set up to destroy your people. To why when we make mention of the true Jews of the Bible, and why we make mention of the true Israelites, okay, the people that are descended from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When we mention that, you people say, no. No, we're not. We have no association with those people we have no association with the bible we have no association with king david and king solomon and our in in, in the lord you know who the world isn't called jesus christ with true name is yahweh shai right so they don't understand that they have what they have they have been deceived that the crazy council has been against them but now people are starting to wake up people are starting to understand because the lord has put, put that spirit out there you know how you too? Last but not least, book of uh, Isaiah 25, verse 7, it says, And I will destroy you in this mountain, which is this government, the face of the cut the face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. You know? And one of these things, crafty council, one of these uh, veils that he have uh, covered the earth. With his what? His false identity that he is white, that he is Italian, that he's American. And truly, his biblical identity is Esau Edom, the Edomites, according to the Bible. And he named, he named everyone else all these other different names instead of their biblical names. Okay, and this is how he have hidden people's identity behind a false covering. But that false covering is being exposed through the spirit power of Yahweh Hashem Shai through his men. Right, so that's just the angle I wanted to touch on that to the spirit. Lord willing, hope it was edifying. Just a quick hit. Till next time, I want to say shalom.